Hey, what is going on my fellow gaming enthusiasts? Welcome back to the channel guys. DM Drayden here, back again with yet another exciting collector's edition unboxing for y'all. Today, we're getting the royal treatment guys. Today just dropped the release of Persona 5 Royal. And obviously, as a hardcore Persona fan myself, I just had to get this. I mean, it is the first expansion that we've had for the game pretty much ever. So, in celebration of its release, I did go ahead and pre-order the Persona 5 Royal Phantom Thieves Collector's Edition box, which I am going to be opening up for you guys today. Now, for those of you guys who have kept up with the channel from the beginning, you guys know I am a huge, huge fan of Persona 5. I mean, Atlas just knocked it out of the park. It is a beautiful, perfect 10 out of 10, and Honestly, I don't usually give games that great of a review. Trust me, I'm pretty you know particular about the games I play. But this one was just so incredible. I mean, I played a lot of the you know Persona games, and none of them and stuff that have had just as much detail and creativity in them as Persona Five did. So I am super stoked that they finally have an actual expansion for the game, and this collector's box looks incredibly cool. Uh, they did keep a lot of the same. Um, concept with the box like they did with their previous uh, Take Your Heart edition where they do have all the characters you know showed off on the front and I actually do have the Take Your Heart edition to compare it to you know with all the characters and everything else so again super excited I can't wait to get into this and so that for y'all so uh, let's not waste any time guys let's go ahead and get into this box I am going to adjust the camera just a little bit so you guys have a better view of it. Here we go. And let's go ahead and get into this. Oh man, super excited. I was actually glad to be able to get this on release too. I was really afraid and so that and everything that uh, GameStop was not going to be carrying it um, or not going to be allowing people to pick it up due to you know the uh, shutdowns that GameStop is uh, going through right now. But luckily, they were nice enough to be able to have this available for me to pick up. I'm going to give you guys another sort of viewing of it right here. Uh, one of the pre-order bonuses was also this really, really cool uh, Persona 5 pin. Now, if you guys uh, have seen some of my other unboxing videos, I have like a bunch of... Uh, loot crate and uh, loot gaming boxes that come with these little pens. So this is actually really cool I'm really glad the GameStop uh, threw that in that's gonna make a nice one for the collection Let's get into this So obviously the first thing first it does come with its own collector's edition box Which you know is actually pretty nice and stuff like that um, Look at that it even does like the whole mirror break sort of like the scenes that they do in the game So let's go ahead and open this up. So obviously the first thing that's going to be in here is this beautiful steelbook case. Uh, almost every Persona, well actually every Persona 5 Pleasure Edition I've ever opened already comes with a steelbook case. And the steelbook case looks very nice. It actually does have the new character, uh, I believe her name is Katsumi on there. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Alright, so it looks like inside we do have the Persona 5 game itself, as well as um, a downloadable code for the dynamic theme, so if you guys want to change your background, then it definitely comes with that. Obviously, I'm not going to show that off because I will uh, definitely be redeeming that myself. So, we do have the game itself in its steelbook case. I'm going to put that right over here. Next, we have... My personal favorite, which is the thing I love in every collector's edition I unbox, which is a copy of the Persona 5 Royal soundtrack. Now, I'm not sure if this uh, CD has all of the... Okay, so it looks like this is actually uh, not the original CD, but this CD has all the new tracks for Persona 5 Royal, so all the tracks that were included uh, in the new game. So that's actually super cool though. Um, I, since I do have the Take Your Heart edition, um, I do have a copy of the original soundtrack, which is incredible. If you guys have never listened to music but, uh, done in Persona 5, you definitely should. It has a jazzy, upbeat feeling to it, but then you also kind of get the, you know, the soft, subtle, you know, sort of just melody type music out of it. It's very beautiful, a lot of piano, a lot of sax. I'm a jazz fan myself, so I absolutely love it. So we do have this. 
put this right here and then if we take this off then we start getting into some of the bigger stuff oh look they even added some nice little paper in here yeah well, this is just paper so we obviously don't need that so we have here of course they had to throw in an art book because the overall design in the game is just absolutely fantastic let's open this up Oh, wow, look at that. I actually opened it up directly to Katsumi, too. Um, so Katsumi is one of the new characters and in the game that will be joining uh, the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Um, obviously, I haven't played the game yet, but I can't wait. Um, honestly, I'd be surprised if I didn't throw in another two, three hundred hours into this game. <laughs> so we do have the uh, art book. I'm going to move this knife out of the way. And then we do have, I believe what is considered to be the piece of resistance. This is the big thing in here. Sorry, I'm having a little trouble getting this out. <clears throat> there we go. Move the box over here. So this, if I'm not mistaken, is supposed to be, yep. We're gonna take this out. Comes with a stand. <laughs> this is gonna make a great addition to the shelf, I swear. This is actually the thing I've probably been most hyped for, except for the soundtrack. Honestly, the soundtrack is usually the best part of this. So we get da, 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 Joker's Mask. We get Joker's Mask, guys. Oh man, that is super cool. Okay, so there is a stand here. I don't know how this stand is set up, because it does look a little weird. Uh, let's see. Take this apart. Uh, they package this really well, guys. Okay, so this is kind of, I guess, what the base plate is supposed to be, maybe? And then, uh, how is this it's supposed to go like this, maybe? Is it like that? Hmm. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie, this base plate is kind of weird. Um, is it going like this, maybe? So... Okay, something about this still doesn't seem right, but I'm just gonna, for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and just post it as like this, because I don't wanna waste too much time. And then we do have the mask itself. Man, look at that. That just looks so freaking legit. Like, they did an absolutely incredible job designing this. I mean, it literally does look like Joker's mask. I wonder if it... Can you put it on? Oh, well, you can't really put it on. It's a, I don't think, but um, I, still think I, I still think it actually looks really cool. And then it comes with this little strap, too. I don't know. Uh, okay, so it actually... Oh, maybe you are supposed to be able to wear it. Like, just... Uh, okay, so the strap... It also comes with a strap. I'm not sure what the strap is for. Um, but, um, I'll definitely, uh, shut it off. Do I look cool? Yeah, I look kind of cool. Uh, so that's actually really cool. Um, like I said, I don't, I'm not sure if this is exactly how you put this together and so that, but, um, for the, like I said, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to show it off like that. So I'm going to move some of this stuff aside. Get out of here. And this is pretty much the collector's edition, guys. Um, so let's just do a quick little recap and stuff of everything that's involved. So you do get this amazing, incredible art book. I'm sure that it's very beautiful. I'll take some time so I have to look at it myself. You do get a copy of the new soundtrack uh, with some of the music and stuff and everything from the game. Uh, obviously, you get the steelbook case with the game, and there is a code in here for a dynamic theme that you can do on uh, the PlayStation 4. And of course, you do get the Joker mask, and the Joker mask is just, it, it looks really cool, guys. Um, and then, of course, if you pre-order it from GameStop, you do get this awesome, cool little Joker's mask pin, which is just kind of a little add-on slash that. Um, so, but anyway, guys, so this is pretty much uh, the Persona 5 Royal Phantom Thieves edition. Um, I believe it's like you can get this for about $100 and stuff like that. Honestly, not too bad. Plenty of stuff. Pretty much what you'd expect inside like that out of a collector's edition. Now, mind you, this is an add-on um, sort of expansion edition. This is, I mean, you'll, you still get the base game with this and stuff like that, but it just comes with the additional content and stuff like that uh, released from it. Um, so I think for $100... 
it's not too bad. I think you're definitely getting your money's worth. I mean, and look at this mask. I mean, this thing is really cool. Like, you can literally go around and so that and just, like, this is a great, this could be a great cosplay item so that if you cosplay as Joker. Um, but anyway, guys, so that is going to go ahead and wrap up the video inside that. I hope you guys really did enjoy. Um, if you did, please make sure inside to hit that red subscribe button as well as enable the bell icon so that way you guys never miss an upload. You never know until that when I'm going to put another video up. So you definitely want to make sure that you guys aren't missing out. But anyway, guys, so that's all the time I have today. I got to get going because I got to start playing this like bad. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And hopefully I'll see all of you in the next video. As always, make sure you're keeping it real. But most importantly, never stop gaming. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.